Hi, welcome to What's Cooking with Rochelle. And today we are making a rustic apple tart. What makes it rustic? You don't have to worry about making it a perfect square or a perfect rectangle or a perfect circle. I'm gonna show you the tricks. Okay, so simple and easy. We have four apples. You can use whatever kind of apple you want. I have pink ladies here today we're using. We've got a little bit of apple butter. I'll show you the secret for that at the end. We have two tablespoons of melted butter. I have uh, like uh, two tablespoons of flour that's just extra so that it doesn't stick. We've got a little cinnamon, um, about a tablespoon, and we have four tablespoons of white sugar. To start off with, I have a cup and a half of white flour. Now, you could use this with a whole wheat flour. You could experiment with alternative flours. Lots of options for you there. We also have a stick and a half of unsalted butter. And so because I'm using unsalted, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. Okay. And we are going to give this a stir. And then we're gonna get in there and get nitty gritty with our hands. But we're gonna start like this. Once you get the butter combined a little bit, we're gonna add in some water. And we're just gonna add it until it's combined, it sticks together. So if you don't do butter, um, use an alternative. You can definitely use a liquid coconut oil. Oops, put that back in there. So I had a half a cup of water there total. Let's see how much we actually end up using. Because we're getting close here. Also, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, we're not going to need the rest of that. Okay, we're gonna flour the bottom. You guys have seen me do this many times. We're gonna take this dough and get it together. It should be pretty light and fluffy. That guy doesn't wanna stay. Now, if you wanted to, you could um, do this 100% on your parchment paper or the splat mat or whatever it is that you want to cook it on. But we are going to start it here. And you want to roll it out a fair amount. I would say about 16 inches and it should roll pretty easy. It's pretty light dough. Again, start from the center, pull out. We'll get this out of my way. And you want it to be about a quarter of an inch thick when you're all done. We are getting there, guys, sorry. Excellent. 
Okay, so like I said, you could have made it 100% on the parchment paper. We are actually cooking ours on a splat mat, um, which is, of course, a silicone mat. And then, of course, it's going on a baking sheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our dough now and roll it up just like we do many a time before. And simply place it on our sheet. Okay. Now our sheet is a little bit bigger, but that's okay. There are no mistakes in cooking, happy accidents. Okay, so to this, we are going to be getting our apples ready. And so, like I said, I have four apples here. We are going to peel these, decor them, and slice them and make them pretty. So I am going to go through and do all of these apples and I'll show you what they look like when we're all done and peeled and decored and then I'll show you the slicing. See you back here in a few. Okay, so our apples are peeled. Now we're gonna decor them. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're simply going to cut the ends off and make a triangle. So we're gonna do that for each of these. You're just getting rid of the seeds Once you have them cut, we are going to slice them in even slices. Okay. We'll make a pile over here. So I'm gonna decor the rest of these and then I will see you back here in just a couple of minutes. All right, so we got all our apples decored, sliced, made all beautiful. You can see about how thick they are. And we've got our dough. So at the bottom of our dough, we're going to combine our cinnamon and sugar. I did. This is a tablespoon of to two tablespoons of cinnamon. And we have four tablespoons here total of sugar. We're going to use half on the bottom and half on the top. Okay. So all you're going to do is take your apples. And we are going to start and just make them around in a circle. Okay. Just like so. Now you can see how I'm leaving a couple of inches from the edges. You want to do that because we're going to fold that over and make that our crust edge. Okay, we're almost done with our first pass. Put one more in there, one more in here. There we go, looking lovely. Okay, now we're gonna do the second row and you're just gonna stack them right on top. Just like so. You should get three rows, guys. 
if you made it the same size as I did. And it looks like we might have a few extra apples here, but we'll do the best that we can. more in the bottom. And then the rest I guess we're just going to eat. All right, so there you go. Voila, our open-faced apple rustic tart. Now, next step, you're going to take the rest of the cinnamon sugar and sprinkle it on top. And just spread it all around. And then we're going to take our melted butter. Sorry, mine has thickened up a little bit. And just drizzle it on top. Okay, now the fun part. I'll show you that when it comes out of the oven. Take the edge and just roll it up like this on the edge. You're just folding it in. There is no rhyme or reason. Remember, that's why I said that piece didn't matter. Just start at one spot. And there you are. Our rustic apple tart is ready to go in the oven. We're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees and we're gonna check it in about uh, half an hour and see how much longer it takes. Depending on how thick you sliced your apples, we'll determine how much time it's gonna take to cook. See you in a little bit. Mmm. Apple tart. It's basically an open-faced apple pie and we are finishing this with just a little bit of uh, apple butter. And we have added just a little bit of water to it to make it moister. If you didn't want to ruin the pretty look of the pie so far, um, you absolutely could put this on the base before you put the apples in. And we are just going to drizzle this on here. That looks pretty good. All right, guys. I am just putting a little finishing sugar on our crust. And I did just drizzle it just slightly. You could absolutely do this uh, before you baked it. That probably would have been the smarter thing, but we didn't do that this time. All right, we are ready to go. I'm going to get it plated up. It may not look amazing, but it tastes amazing. Yummy in the tummy. All right, see you back here in just a minute. All right, we finally get to dig in. A rustic apple tart is best served warm. If it's already cooled, you made it ahead of time. Just pop it in the oven for a couple of minutes to warm up, or you can heat it up in the microwave. It is traditionally served with vanilla ice cream, but you choose what your flavor is. And then we've garnished it with just a little bit of fresh whipped cream. Let's dig in here, guys. Get a little bit of everything. Mm. Mm. That is good. Mm. That's a crisp, flaky crust. Your apples should be not super mushy, 
we tented it to prevent it from burning. And then of course, who doesn't love ice cream and whipped cream? Thanks for watching What's Cooking with Rochelle. Bye for now.